As far as modern day princes go, they don't get much more interesting than this one. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 5 facts about Prince Harry. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. Number 5. He feels most at home in Africa. When his mother passed away under tragic circumstances in 1997, the fledgling prince was whisked away by his father to Africa. While that trip was meant to shield the young man and his brother from media attention, it would serve as the catalyst for a lifetime of visits to the continent. Whether he's helping people suffering from HIV, moving animals to a national park, or simply hanging out with locals, Prince Harry's heart clearly belongs to the African continent. While his status as a royal prince has carried him all around the globe, it seems that Africa offers him the chance to not get recognized and lose himself in a way he cannot elsewhere in the world. I have this love of Africa which will it will never disappear, it will be there, and I hope that it uh, carries on in, you know, with my children as well. Number 4. He served in Afghanistan After finishing his studies, Prince Harry chose to enter the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst in 2005. By 2007, he was set to be deployed in Iraq with the rest of his regiment. However, when the information went public, numerous threats were made against the young prince's life, and it was decided that he would instead do a tour of Afghanistan. Upon returning home, he was awarded the Operational Service Medal in 2008. As if that weren't enough, Harry proceeded to learn to fly military helicopters alongside his brother William, later using this new skill during his second tour of duty in Afghanistan, where he served as a co-pilot slash gunner in an Apache helicopter. Number 3. He doesn't have a set last name Oh, really? <laughs> Please. Boom. Unless your name is Bono, Cher, or Drake, Chances are you have a last name. Started from the bottom, now my whole team here. It's pretty much standard. However, as a British prince, Harry doesn't have a surname, or at least not a specific one. You see, once upon a time, the British royal family was without a last name. In 1917, King George V officially declared Windsor to be the family name. But because its members were so famous, they hardly ever needed to use it. Today, when royals like Prince Harry need to affix themselves with a surname, they can use the family name Mountbatten Windsor, or their family's territory. That's why Harry, Prince of Wales, was known as Captain Wales when he served in the military. Number 2. He created the Invictus Games Hey, Prince Harry, remember when you told us to bring it at the Invictus Games? Careful what you wish for. As a member of the British royal family, Prince Harry could have very well spent his life sitting back in his beautiful palace, sipping tea and playing bridge. Thankfully, Prince Harry is not that kind of guy. In fact, he is extremely proactive. And in 2014, he spearheaded the creation of an international multi-sport event for wounded and injured servicemen and women. The event, known as the Invictus Games, has been held in 2014 and 2016, with more installments planned for the future. The affair has garnered media attention across the globe, with several US presidents offering their support. As for the illustrious prince, he continues to act as the patron of the event. Let's put on a hell of a show in memory of all of our fallen comrades who didn't make it. We are Invictus. Number 1. He runs a charity Wanting her sons to have a more robust worldview, Princess Diana would often take them to HIV AIDS clinics when they were young. These visits clearly made an impression on Prince Harry, for as an adult he's been a champion in the fight against the disease. His attention has mainly been focused on the small country of Lesotho. He visited the African nation during his gap year, and was so taken by the country he produced a documentary detailing some of the struggles faced by the local population. A couple of years later, he co-founded Sentabale with Prince Seso of Lesotho, a charity aimed at helping the people of Lesotho battle the AIDS epidemic in their country. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.